Hi, and welcome to the show. 16-year-old Samantha says she's trying to be a model, but mostly she spends her time taking drugs and working as a prostitute in the streets of Hollywood. So where's her mother in all this, you ask? Well, sitting right next to her. But Yvonne says she's at the end of her rope, and she finally gave her daughter an ultimatum. Get it together or get out. She blames Samantha's friends for ruining her life, and they all blame her. They'll all confront each other today on the show, but first, let's find out what's going on between mother and daughter. Samantha, you and your mom were here on our show, what, six months ago, and it seemed at that point that you guys were getting along. <laughs> tell, tell, okay, tell me that you're not now. <laughs> okay, um, uh, we, we never really get along. We don't. <laughs> we can get along as friends. We can go out, we can hang out, you, coffee houses, whatnot, but when it comes down to her being a parent and me being the child, it doesn't work. Why not? I mean, just past experiences, you know, things that have happened before that I'm not, I'm not going to let go of, ever. I mean, we thought we had, like, fixed up that problem the last time I've done the show, and I still hold grudges on that. Tell me what it is, because let's assume her, some people didn't see that. Of her throwing me out when I was 12. She says she, that she didn't, and, well, okay, I have my views, and it's going to always be like that. And I, I just don't quite forgive her for that. Mom, what could a daughter possibly do that would have a mother turn to her at the age of 12 and says, you're out of the house? I didn't say that she was out of the house. Um, you I, lie. I, I I, well, yes, in a sense, I told her to go out the front door type thing. No, you said get the f out, you got more. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> OK, OK. Okay. That kind of uh, seems like you're asking her to leave. But then again, like we all remember it differently. That, that's right. We all remember it differently. Um, I have a new husband. Uh, we have a six-year-old and a four-year-old. And with the six-year-old and the four-year-old, uh, she gets drugged out. She starts becoming physically abusive to the children. She will not. Funny, she, I always thought I was a nicer person. Uh, she sits there. She won't follow any of the rules. She won't go to school. She won't have a curfew. Stop what you're I doing. I walk out, open up the window, and she's up in Hollywood. My you, mom you goes to sleep. I'm out. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean she I'll went really to 13 admit months that. in a locked facility at $5,000 I mean, a month. She got how, out. How are you supposed to believe she's this from this woman? Later, I was up, at, up in Hollywood. When, when she used to do drugs. I mean, I fucking, I've given them to her. <laughs> Same way back. Mom, is that, mom, were you doing drugs? Oh, yeah, when I was 17, 18. Bullshit. You know. Bullshit. I remember last August, I gave you so. You, you, you know what the funny thing is, Sam? I think you have mixed up with some of your friends. Oh, bullshit. Why can't bull you? Wait, wait. I railed you out. All right, okay. You gave me pot. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, what? Look. Why? Why can't you say, is it possible? that you separate your mom from everyone else in the world. And to this extent, that your mother would be the one person that one, you would never hit, two, you would never use that language. In other words, your mom is the one human being in the world that is absolutely beyond all the other rules of how you treat people. So you may use that language to me or to a stranger and we won't like it, but you don't have the tie. Why would you ever turn to your mother and regardless- She's a hypocrite. It does, okay. But she's still your mother. I love her dearly, but I can't, I, I can't get along with her. I mean, we, we have a fine relationship as long as it's over the phone. If, if somebody did something bad, if I started using that kind of language on your mother. You have no right to. You don't know her. Wh why, why would you, why would you defend, if, if some guy came and said just terrible things about your mother. Because he doesn't know her. I mean, some people you, like my mother, some people don't. Do you love your mother? I love my mother. I just do can't get along with her. Do you love your mother enough to respect her? I respect her for, for putting nine months of, uh, of, of being pregnant, putting up with my shit. You know, I respect her for that. I love her for that. You don't want anybody else talking to her like that, but you're flesh and blood. You shouldn't be speaking to her like that at all. And second of all, are you on drugs right now? No, I'm not. Yes, you are, because I can see how you're fidgeting around, sucking on your tongue and everything like you're f you. Hey. You don't know the 
first Why thing you? about me. Wait, yes? You don't know me, she, I don't know you. She was sitting there last night, she was drunk, she was on Shh. drugs, on the plane, and I was sick of it. You know, this is going on all the time. And she does it in front of my younger kids. That's why she can't. I don't do her. drugs in front of a, oh, a yeah. crystal and Oh, Steven. yeah, you do. You've picked up Stephen by his friggin' head. You have sat there and, and, and hit on your sister, who's going to be out here in a little bit. She beat on my other daughter for years. And again, years. she also pinned me down and tried to kill me. I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, obviously, she doesn't respect you. She doesn't care about you. Why don't you just do yourself a favor and get rid of her? She's I had 13 her. months worth I of treatment. I, she doesn't want no. She, her only help. treatment is a bullet she, in her she, head. Uh, Look how she no, talks no, to you. No, she doesn't. Hey, you don't need second. her. Just wait get wait rid of her. She's all, she's why don't you take your finger herself, and stick okay? it where the sun don't shine? Well, you need to listen to people. Maybe you can get some good advice and get off your dope, baby. Right. That's right. what you need. I love my daughter. Okay. I love my daughter. I just, at times, don't like the person she's become. Okay. I become like Coming you. up next, Samantha's best friend, Ricky, says oh, Samantha's please. only problem is her mother. They're going to face off when we come back. Stay with us. It's getting hot. <laughs> Is there someone you've been dying to tell off? Would you like to do it on our show? If so, give us a call at 1-800-29-JERRY. Welcome back. If you just joined us, we've been talking to 16-year-old Samantha, who has uh, had a very troubled uh, childhood and uh, has led to a life of uh, drugs and prostitution. Uh, her dad abandoned her at the age of five. Her mom, in a sense, kicked her out at the age of 12. Now, her mom makes no secret of the fact that she blames Samantha's friends for her daughter's problems, and most of all, she blames Samantha's best friend, Ricky. But guess what? Ricky points the finger right back at Yvonne. Ricky, Samantha is living on her own now and is quite open about her activities. Why at this point, I mean, she's 16, why at this point are we still blaming mom? Why do you think it's her fault? Well, I, I totally think it's her fault because the way she talks to her mom, she does not talk to me. I'm her best friend. I'm 21 years old. I've known her for two years, and in, in those times we became very close. She, she does not cuss at me that way. She talks to me with respect. Would you talk to your parents like that? No, I do not talk to my parents so that way. So what do you think of someone who does talk to their parents like that? I think she talks to her mother that way because that's the only reason she knows how to, because that's the way you taught her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, uh, the funny thing is, uh, I have not kicked my daughter out. I keep on sitting there and saying, What about Easter me? Sunday? Excuse me. You excuse tell me. A 12 -year -old I keep on girl telling her the door. What that is she if she think? follows the rules, 12 years if she old. goes to school, okay, then yeah, she can live with me. If she gets off the drugs, if she stops uh, dressing like half nude. But I don't want to. I don't want to like live with you. After acting totally. Uh, abusive to everyone okay she's almost imagine. 17 years old and it's time to start saying it's not my fault it's not his fault it's not actually anybody's fault except Sam Sam is now responsible for Sam it's true it's true okay. she does what she wants to do but as a mother as a mother you shared the same body for nine months you can't share the same house what does that tell you well, that tells me I, that she's, excuse not willing, me, I'm not she's not willing to give in either. You told me, you bragged, you laughed about setting your daughter on fire. That's something you do not do, okay? Be it true or be it not true. Excuse me. Is that she true had a string on her, pair of, uh, on her pants and I burnt it off, okay? No, no, no. The, this the is strings are that long by that this wise. This is exaturation. That's my God. Sir. You know, okay. I, I'm getting Fire. real, I'm real tired of this. That's I'm not really tired. You know what, Ricky? Ricky? You're really starting to get on my nerves. You have gotten on my nerves for two years. Two years. And you know what? That's the story telling the truth. 
What? You know, I'm not going to quit. You know why? Because in her, I see something that I don't think you can see. Oh, I, I see a lot. What? I see that she's artistic. I see that she's beautiful. I see that she's intelligent. But and when I told you I was doing modeling, you said, oh, it's pornography. No, I asked you. I said, you are, are you doing nude modeling? Because I said, it'll come back. If you're doing it, honey, it'll come back to haunt you 20 years from now. Please, you know, be careful. But that shows how highly she thinks of okay, me. Okay, Ricky. Oh, yeah. do you want well, to see the piece of paper that says when I had to go up to L.A. because she was caught sitting there and giving a man oral copulation without a Gee, rubber? Mom, were you arrested in Las Vegas for the same? No. Uh, oh. Excuse me? Yes, you were. You told me. Well, excuse okay, me, hold on. Excuse Wait, me. I'm, I'm getting I, mesmerized I misrepresented here. That. Oh, Wait a God. second. God. Um, let me talk to this Ricky is, for a second. This is totally... Yeah. Okay, hold on. I, Ricky, as a friend, yes. and you care about Samantha, uh, yes. as a friend, really do, what are you her. doing to get her away from drugs? Nothing. From, He's well, giving him to her. Let me ask Ricky. Time out. What are you doing to her. get her off drugs and alcohol, prostitution, etc.? She's... I haven't done prostitution. She's, she's, no, she's, okay. young. she's very young. Drugs. I, I think at that age, it's very easy for her to make a change in her life. But it's really hard when you have... She calls her a whore in front of... In front of do you people. do drugs with her? Yeah. We have yeah, done drugs see, with her. See? See? All right, hold yeah. on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who right. bought the alcohol last night, Ricky? Wait a second. She did. You know, I paid for it. She's 16. She can't buy alcohol. She, obviously, she can. Without ID? Obviously. You know, you can? I don't have okay. ID and I'm 21. The point is, the point is, right now, right now, I don't see you or you right now acting necessarily in the best interest of Samantha. No, if you care playing. about Samantha, you'd say, hey, let's stay off the drugs. Let's stay off okay. the alcohol. That's true. That's true. Go ahead. But as a friend, I, I, I mean, I do drugs and I, I, I won't deny it. I do. But as a friend, I can't tell her, I can tell her that I think she's doing too much. I tell her she's getting out of hand. But I have no real, like, what authority do I have to tell her that I she's stop six, doing drugs? She's 16 when I can't years. Do that. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay, she's 16. Yes. At, whatever you decide to do with your own life, with her you can say, boy, even knowing that she comes from a troubled childhood, yeah. as a friend you would say, you know what, if, I'm not sure anyone can handle drugs, but at 16, with the troubled childhood you've had, this is not the course you should be taking. Because you know very well, yeah. if you were sitting out here in the audience and watching Samantha, you can't objectively say that she doesn't need someone to love her and to help her. That's true. Then you're not helping... In a way, it's true, but in a way, I'm not the best influence on her. But in a way, I kind of, I think I am because I support her in any decision she wants to make that a positive goal. Love her enough to say no once in a while. I do say no to her. Okay. I'll get back to you. Okay. I'll give you a chance. We'll come back and give Ricky another chance to answer that. Also, Samantha's younger sister says she won't let Samantha destroy their family anymore. She's fed up and she'll have her say when we come back. Stay with us. Tomorrow, should these moms grow up and act their age, or are the kids just jealous because mom's getting all the attention? Tomorrow on Springer. Welcome back. Okay, Samantha's younger sister, Victoria, is 15 and wants it to be clear that she has not followed in her sister's footsteps. Victoria, what are things like between you and Samantha? Well, it depends on whether she's on drugs, drinking, or out with some good friends that are influential. The good influence, I should say. Uh, she was going out with this guy who was in a church, and he was a Christian, and he was a really good guy, and he didn't drink or anything. But uh, when she was around drugs, him, was she was celibate. clean. She was good. But uh, then he dumped her and, you know, things went back <laughs> to the way they were before. I still go to church every Sunday, and I try to make it to Bible study every Thursday. And I support her on that. I think that's I great. Mean, I, I, sure I, I, don't I, you don't I mean, I, I won't. I'll do it maybe once a month, maybe okay. once every month and a half. You know, it's not an everyday Telling thing. Telling her no is only going to make her get defensive like she does with her mother. Exactly. I think it's better if she finds a positive goal like school or church and help her go in that direction and get away from herself. The decision to stop doing drugs has to be her own. That is true. And, and we can't have a, we can't 
be constantly beating up on her because I, I do sense that her whole life people have said no 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 do push-ups you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're a whore you're is, nothing you're I, never gonna be anything I, I've never said she that never said that I never said that you you're intelligent you I, I'm your not life. saying you ever said that but that's what I heard a lot yeah, of my also, life you say it's a whore it hurts okay. um excuse me but I was wondering if you um uh, did you graduate high school she still got she got she has two credits to the 10th grade Okay, she quit school, even though all she had to do was take the books home and study them. She didn't even have to go to school. I okay. Have, Victoria, okay, go ahead. I have two things I would like to say. For one, would the lady with the red hair and the striped shirt stand up so I can apologize for my sister's rude behavior? That's all right. You didn't, what, what? You didn't say anything. You didn't do anything, so you don't need to apologize. She's always apologizing for her sister. Well, you okay. need to stop taking She's the slap from her. She's not going to apologize for anything I said to her. you. What? I'm not going to apologize. I, I, I don't, I feel no you don't have to, to apologize to me. That doesn't mean jack to me. Why yeah, would you want to be... to their opinion. How why would you want to... different. You do, obviously don't know that woman. Why would you want to be rude to her? She's rude to everybody. Okay, hold on. I'm she asking, is. I mean, I'm not asking you. She doesn't know this the first thing about me, okay? And yeah. she, she's... Well, even if someone is incorrect, there's no excuse to be rude. I'm, I'm going to say it exactly how I see it. Look, I've had a long two days since we got into Chicago and we I got an since hour of sleep drunk. I was so nervous about doing the show because Eating. a lot of my friends are gonna see this I'm not fiending mom I want sleep you were no, speeding no. last night you were night speeding yesterday on, on the plane you were rude to people on the plane you were rude in the airport you were rude when we got when we checked into the motel um, do you guys I'll really have, admit do, I'm a bitch. Do you guys have physical fights I've been told? Yes, yeah, she used to beat on me up until I was like 12 or 13, then I retaliated and... Funny, I when you were 12 and 13, I was in treatment. Yeah. I, I don't She's up and chill. Up until I was 12 or 13, I did not retaliate. One time, we got in this fight, and I'll admit, I was bashing her head in the wood floor, and I was telling her I loved her, because I couldn't stand her. And my she mother jumped coming. in. My mother jumped in when I clipped her and made her bleed, even though she is... No, I jumped in. I was telling both of them. And she goes, okay. go ahead, I'm telling both of them to stop it. I've called the police. She poured cold mother's water on us to, to get us apart. I've poured cold water on them trying to break and them apart. for two, I had yeah. a comment towards my sister. They're not dogs. I've gotten to the point. I just sit there and go, what am I supposed to do? If I pull one off, then, oh, I'm siding with her. If I pull the other one off, then I'm siding with her. So she has yeah. to break so it So I just dumped her. I, I see. I okay, okay. Shh. We have no... Please, don't fight. We have no water here. <laughs> Is there any chance of you going back to high school or getting your GED? As a matter of fact, I... Last week, I called the, one of the schools I was in, and I have to call about an IEP meeting about going back to school and the kind of program I will be able to be put into. This week, they're off of the school. They're on vacation this week, so... I tried setting her up with Escondido High, but she doesn't want to live with me. I'm not, I'm not going to go up there and deal with gangsters. Yeah. But I'm a little gothic girl, okay? These people look at somebody with a white face and put some black and white makeup on, and they're going to go, you're weird, and they're, they're going to yeah. automatically have something against you. Okay, hold on. I, I don't care. Hard to deal with that. Yeah, right. I, think she's in I think it's pretty indicative that what goes around comes around, and yeah. the mother seems to... Real, she's, she's blaming it on the friends. The friends came in her life no, late. No, 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 I'm not just blaming yeah. it on the minute. friends. I'm blaming Wait a minute. Okay, let her. it talk. Huh? I know. I'm you blaming. had her from, I don't know, from five or whatever, have you? If she had problems at that point, you should have taken her to get psychiatric we help. We did. And continued it. We did. Don't stop it after 13 months or whatever, have you? But yeah. also, how much money do you in? have, lady? First because of all, I, I hate to tell you, all, there's $5, free counseling out there. And there's free counseling. And I. It's not my daughter. She didn't need eight at five. I don't love her. You do, she needed right? Help. So I, I you're supposed to get up. help for her at that point, and if you haven't gotten help for her at this point, that's why you're sitting here on Jerry Springer. You're making a fool out of yourself on national TV because you have a daughter here that doesn't that doesn't respect you. Your daughter doesn't respect you, and she's not going to respect you starting today. She should have began respecting you back when she was five years old. Right. I mean, we've all had hard lives. I mean, I had a hard life growing up, too. And I don't sit there and blame it on everybody else. You have to take the blame for yourself. Yeah. It doesn't matter. No. It doesn't no. matter. No. You everybody have to take else. the blame for yourself at some point in time. I know that matter. the choices I make are mine. But I also do realize that I was raised by this person. And, and the way I think, the way I believe is part of that, you know, things that I was taught as a child okay, I was is, is the me same now. As you you know? were. 
Okay, wait, you need a no, mic. Hold I, it, you need I, a mic. I admit that I talk. make the choices, and I am responsible for the choices I make. I know that. You are. Right. So you're blaming but you're it all not on getting your mom. that. You're saying I was abused when I was five. I was this when I was twelve. Yeah, I was I'm just blaming well, it on know me. What? I had a rough life I'm too. Not. My mom was single. I didn't have things. It. She didn't no, have. It's just that, that way. You she have to you take the blame the for yourself. You have when to I say, met her, she was already the I am taking responsibility for myself, for my life. You can't think of anybody else. All right, don't go away. Welcome back. Samantha's friend Derek says that he knows it was Yvonne's fault that Samantha got into drugs. Derek, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean because, like, her mother does it, and she's asked her mother for stuff. And, um, and so she, you know, you can't say that she's, you know, not the blame for it. At what, at when did this, uh, about what age did this go on, this I'm mom sorry. using like drugs? Last year. You what? Last year. So as late as last year, Mom, you're involved in drugs in front of your daughter, or she knows she that you... She would come and ask us for some. Since I was, I was five years old, she broke out a joint. She told me, okay, this is a joint, this is, this is a, pot, uh, a pipe, and this is a bong. And this one you'll get more off of. <laughs> you know? That's what she told me. She did not keep it in the closet. How do you know? taught her well, you, didn't you? You know what? You know what, Jerry? I'm really getting tired of this because I feel like it's I, the I, I feel like a scapegoat. That, 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 I feel like a scapegoat. And now you're playing like you're, you're, you're yeah, like. You know what? Your friends get you high. I don't use drugs. I, I get my security. friends high too. When I've worked security. Derek, how do you know? I okay. Drug shh. tests on me Derek, all the time. Derek, how do you know that she uses drugs with her daughter? Well, I mean, I've been at her house and stuff like that. And what have you, you seen at the house? You haven't been at my house ever. I have. You've been at my mother's house. When I do it at my year, mom's house, um, my mom's 63 years old. Come on, guys. My mom. Samantha <laughs> said, well, let's go ask my mom if she has anything. And um, so well, she see, ran across Sam's the street. Well, see, that's Sam's misconception. But she had it, didn't she? No. <laughs> Victoria, you're lying for mom now. You are lying for mom. Whatever. And you, it's because she's embarrassed about it all. She, she has, like, PTA meetings, et cetera, and people watch this that she knows, and because she doesn't have any friends right now, gonna be watching you know, this. this may stop her from having any in the future. She shouldn't have had any in the first place. She shouldn't know how to care for him properly. But you, you, know, you know what? What? I'm really, I'm really, really very tired of this, Sam. I mean, that's another reason why we can't live together is because she lies, she exaggerates. I do not lie. Yeah. You do too. Oh, You're God, You're lying Sam. right there. <laughs> Which reminds me, um, Jerry, I said something earlier in, in the show about the, the prostitution thing. I did misrepresent that. My mom never actually turned the trick. My father did set that up. And, and other things happened. She never wanted to do it, yeah. but it was forced upon her. Yes, I, I'd like to clarify that okay. because I wanted forced it in upon anger. you. Yeah, you you buy drugs for your dad. You drive, buy drugs for your friends. Hell, I and now you're trying you. to sit there and say you buy drugs for me. Thank you. No, you got drugs from us. Oh. Okay. I, I she didn't say what, that. I want to know what Sam wants to do now in her life. I mean. It's obvious that she can't live with her mom at this point. She's living with my mother. What is she going to do? She's six she months she What are you, you going to do? So? Well, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to get back into school. And I'll get my GED or my diploma, either one. I plan on starting classes for cosmetology and hairstyling. And also that goal. right goal. now, it's like getting by with it's the a money. positive goal and supporting her on that would help her instead of saying, oh, you have to go to Escondido High. I don't, I've never heard of any cosmetology school in Escondido High. I've even tried her setting her up at a cosmetology school. They said she had to have a GED. She won't go to school. She, she won't do anything. Excuse me. I just expressed that I am trying to go I, back. I went if and I took you to, to school and they wouldn't even take you. And go to school. Go Mom, this is for you. I think that you love your daughter. You just let her go. Sometimes you love somebody. You got to let them go. That's what you I've know, done. Be with the people she's going to be with. I've got another daughter who loves you, who needs you, who has more respect for you. Just take care of her I, and enjoy your life there, with her. I, I, just you know, disregard that other one, because her and her friends, just they're I, trash. I try letting go, but you know what? I Excuse love me, my daughter. Excuse I love me. my daughter. Do you okay. believe I'm trash? Because I don't believe I'm trash. My friends don't think I'm trash. I don't trash. think she's trash she's either. Because I have a lot of good okay. qualities. She, you don't everybody, know. everybody has value. I'm not trash. If you're not trash, show them then. Get off the drugs. <laughs> Doing it takes a lot of 
time. What? What? You're you, saying that it's so easy smoke? to say it. Do you You're saying it's so easy it. to say it. it help is. her. You love her. Yes. I mean, you care about her. She's a yes. good friend. Yes. You know, help her. Jesus. Uh, That's what friends me. are for. I'm not. I'm not like the one. What is it? Okay. The drugs are not my doing. What? Uh, I'm I just. See you, what is I'm it just like tired. <gasps> of the accusations and the lies and people coming back. Well, if you loved your daughter, I love my daughter. I've done everything I, I could for my so daughter. For a free I, mean, person. I, I have sat there. I've, I've done absolutely everything. My husband has. He's lost four jobs when she was running away. I mean, we did absolutely everything. She is her own person. And for exactly. some reason, just... So what about then if someone from the audience here says, let her go, concentrate because on the Because I love my daughter. I can't okay. let her go. You don't let somebody destroy That's themselves. You just don't. And anybody who says that doesn't or isn't a parent or doesn't love enough. I, I, keep trying. I was raised, I was raised religiously and you don't give up. You even love your enemies. No, you don't. And she was yes, I do. I care, mother, okay? you, I care that, uh, you I care about you, Ricky. I care that. I care about this stuff. You, Yvonne? Okay, here's what we'll do. Me and you talk. And All right, here's you, what we're going to do. We're going to take a break. And... I'll tell you what. We're going to take no. a break. When we come back, it's only going to be Mom and Sam, okay? I want to give you two a chance and just deal with, with the, you two. I'll ask the, the rest of you. We'll take you back later on in the show, okay? So let's take a break. When we come back, we're just going to have Mom and Sam on the set, and we'll deal with them, okay? We'll be right back. <laughs> Tomorrow, they're sick and tired of their moms acting like teenagers and stealing the spotlight from them. I had a baby. Nine months later, she shows up pregnant. 38 years old, and she's having a baby. Why does that bother you? Because it's like she was trying to be younger than what she was. Do I not have a right to have a child with a new person in my life? I will never allow these two to control my life. Should these moms grow up and act their age, or are the kids just jealous because mom's getting all the attention? Tomorrow on Springer. Okay, um, I asked the others to leave. Um, in the last segment, Mom, um, you broke down. And what I see here is incredible pain on both sides. When you are in pain, Samantha, it comes out in anger. When I, I do cry about it. I'm I just don't want to mess my makeup. Yes, I understand. I'm not <laughs> I am very vain. Okay. Um, What's, what's the whole, let's, let's start with where you guys are together. Where you guys are together, you said to us, and there was no reason for you to say it other than it was the truth, that you really do love your mother. I, I honestly do. Okay. I love my mother. I just, I don't like her because of okay. her, her trying to control me after she's like, other things have happened in my life that like, you know, we'll have arguments to the day we die about. And I'm gonna let that go, you know. I'm just gonna let the, the argument go. Just not the fact it happened. Okay. And, and mom, to the point of tears, you let us know how much you love your daughter and you refuse to let her go. Yes. Okay. So if that is the starting bond. It's been there. Okay. I have, I mean, I keep on saying I have done everything. Okay, let's, no one, okay. Let's, for the rest, for the rest of the show, Let's at least start by saying, neither of you has to be defensive anymore. We take it as, as, as uh, absolute truth that you love your daughter, and she knows that. Yeah. And, and she loves you, and you know that. Yes. So no longer do you have to be saying, I've really tried, you got to believe me. And no longer do you have to be saying, hey, I really hurt inside, um, I got problems. We, we know that. Now to any other person that enters this world, your friends, later on a boyfriend, perhaps even a husband, nothing ever gets between the two of you, the two of you. And the first way to start that, I would think, is to say, you've got to stop beating her up all the time, and you, and you have to stop, even if you have to catch yourself. You just start with the rule, I will never again talk disrespectfully to my mom, no matter how wrong she is. I may to myself say, wow, mom's off base. This is really crazy. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I mean, I look, I can't do that because 
I will stand up for myself. It's just like anybody, anybody in this audience, that anybody that has something to say against my mother, I'll stand up for her. Right. So I will. Okay, but you know what the first... But, you know, me and her have our complications. We, we can be friends. We go out, we have coffee See, together, that, we hang out. That's, that's, but being I, parent and child, right. I love her, but I it's, always wanted to it be just be isn't going to work friend. that way. Okay, you see what's happened right away. Everybody, right away, you, you never Every, mind. Everybody, you don't have to convince yeah. us. That's the thing. Is you, you don't have to. I believe in being in a parent, you should be your kid's best friend. No, so, no. Oh. Yeah. No. You have to be the parent first. You see, that's what the. What happens if they don't like you? You know what's happening? You know. Mom, let me tell you this. Friend. Mom, you know what's happening? Mom. Samantha, you know what's happening? Because you want to be her friend, she's talking to you as she talks to her right. friends. Right. That's what's happening. Yeah, I know that. It's so you see, it, was, it started out when she was a little kid. I wanted to be her friend. Jerry, I, I can explain that. I mean, like, all my life, she's, like, been, like, you know, because, of, uh, like, I was, I, I was, came, I, people came down hard on me as a kid, and she, she, felt bad because, you know, I did deserve some of the punishments I got and, and not, not to the extreme. And she knew that. And that's why she like, she, okay. she tried to be really, really nice and take time and out. Can you do this? And she is more ref like, I, I don't know. I, I like Samantha, Ricky right is like now. my brother, okay, you know, Samantha, you don't have to I explain just, anything. Parents Samantha, should come listen down to me. on you. You don't know? have to explain anything. The, the we fact, know you're, listen, no, you're not I listening. want to finish this. Okay. One second. The next time, the next time Ricky says anything disrespectful to your mom, here's the drill. The drill is you say, Ricky, you're a great friend, but don't you ever, ever speak, speak disrespectfully about my mom. You may agree with him. Because all that says, all that says all is right. he respects you then. Because then you know what you're saying to him? You're saying to him, Excuse me, I have standards. I have standards. You can't violate that. You, I may have a disagreement with my mom, but you're not allowed to talk to her like that. If you two would have that kind of a bond, then that's the first line of communication. You two can start speaking. You can't let me interfere. You can't let him interfere. You can't let doctors interfere. It's you two. You two in the world. You two came in together. You're going out together. That's it. That's all you really have in life is your mom and your dad and your kids. That's where you start. And then they pass on, and I'll pass on. But they left you with something. Well, I, I kind of want to give support to Samantha because I feel like I'm looking in the mirror here. Um, I went through this with my son. Once, yeah, one second, you're back, go ahead, yes. Yeah, I have something to say. Okay, wait, I need, you, uh, uh, okay, hold on, let me just give you a mic because you don't have a mic now. <coughs> oh. Well, for one, I was raised that my mom's my best friend. She was the only friend that didn't back out on me when everyone else did. She was the only person that was always there and I knew I could go to, and she wouldn't turn away from me. And uh, some people were disagreeing with the fact she thought being your, being your child's best friend is good. I think it was great because that was the only thing that kept me thinking that she was my only positive influence. I mean, I can't, I can't really look up to my sister. There's nothing there to look up to, really. Okay. Okay. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll continue with both of you. But you know what? It is okay for her to love Samantha and be a parent to Samantha and still continue to love you. She does. I don't okay. have a problem with that. There's nothing... I'm not saying she's giving my sister too much attention. I'm just saying the fact is that... Me and her were raised the same way. I don't do anything that she really does. My attitude may not always be the best. I may sometimes act a little out of sort, but I don't do what she does. I don't go out, I don't do drugs, and I don't come back beating up on little children, okay? I, I don't beat up on people like she used to beat up on me. Let's take a break and uh, we'll pursue, because I see something, some competition going on here between the sisters, which is putting mom in an untenable position. We'll be right back. Do you know a fun-loving housewife who'd like to get a wild, glamorous makeover? If so, give us a call at 1-800-29-JERRY and tell us about her. 
I think some of the tension, and this is, you know, I've known you for 45 minutes, so admit that I don't know you at all. But from where I sit, and I suspect where most of the audience sits, I'm sensing, and not without good reason, but there's an incredible tension between the sisters. And even the way you describe it, and I'm not criticizing you at all, you have lived a, a, a life where apparently you are on what m most folks consider the right track. But she is aware of that, because every time there is a movement to a bond between you two, somebody reminds her that you aren't staying in school, as sister is, that you are on drugs, sister's not, that mm -hmm. you, you know, and it's Since this good I was, sister, I was a little kid, sister. I don't know that. No, no. See, was, she used okay. to be She the was the kid. good student. She was the good okay. student. I, I was good around now. the house. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. just how it went. You know, oh. I, back and forth, it goes both ways, you know. Like, she's, she gets jealous because me and my mom can go out and, like, do things together they that we come. both like to do. And, like, my mom will come to her and go, well, let's do this, let's do that. And she'll remind her, that's what Sam likes. I don't like that, you know. And yeah, that's true. That's part of it, She doesn't like you know? coffee houses where she does. And okay, okay, we, okay. We just, okay. You know. Mom, parent, and, parent, and parent. I hear that she's the good kid, I'm the bad kid now. And she, it was the opposite way when we were younger. Where, what? Up there. Oh, gosh, I'm dominant. Yes. yes, sir. Uh, first of all, Jerry, I, I love your show. Um, I think That'll solve it. I think, no, I think what we have here is one biggest thing is a lack of respect. Everyone has a lack of respect for each other. You hear me on that? It's my show, sure. Right. A, lot of, a lot of miscommunications going on, a lot of misunderstandings. I, I yeah. Yes. Got it. Yeah. First of all, this is America. There's a lot of problems everywhere. It's obvious right here. You seem to have your, your act together. You don't. So quit using excuses. This is America. There's problems everywhere. Get on with your life. Samantha is what, 16? Yes. She'll be 17 next month. You are still underage, and that is your mother. It's nothing wrong with a parent being a friend to the child, but you be a parent first. You control her to lead her up in the she way she should go. She puts her foot as best she can. Wait a second, what, 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 what am I supposed to physically do? Tie her up? It's you illegal. Can't. Yeah. You can't beat her. You can't, I mean, you can't, no. you talk to her, it's like, blue in the face. <laughs> Uh, Ma'am, you know. I, I am freely admitting this, okay? I've lived so long that this is my life. I do what I want to do, okay? I mean, it's not going to change now. I mean, I only have a year and a month left, and I'm an adult. And okay. that's pretty scary. This is... Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, we're, we're going to try and be positive now. Let, please, the last few minutes, let's not gang up on anybody there. Let's, let's try and get something positive out of the show, and then I'll get to you because I feel bad I left you. Uh, this is to the mother. You have two daughters sitting by you. Uh, one of them appears that uh, she, you know, has had problems and is making mistakes and is refusing help from you and refusing to do what you say or what you ask. And another daughter that's sitting there uh, looking for you, looking for your, your help, your guidance, your friendship or whatever. If she's going to refuse everything you offer, everything you, you give to her, let her go. You have another one right here. Don't let the same thing happen. And, and second, I got a good one. Excuse me. I left you standing. There, there's, go there's ahead. There's a problem with that kind of mentality, okay? You I'm, I'm not saying you're, you're, you're an idiot or anything. I'm just saying, okay, just because this child isn't doing exactly what I want her to do does not mean I should stop loving her. I love this one. I do things with this one. You okay. can't you give know. up on All right, that because then they'll go worse. Okay, yeah, back to giving Samantha some encouragement. Uh, like I said, my son was going through the same thing, both of us. And it's hard being the parent, but you got to hug him and do what's best. I had him in jail, I don't know how many times. He kept coming back. We went through the same turmoil. You got to give the hugs, the encouragement. You can't see your future if you're still looking in the rearview mirror. You've got to go forward. And I think Samantha's trying to do that. And then when the audience, I know they'll beat up on me, but when she said she was going to church and stuff like this and, and making these small things, they might be small, but they got to start from small. And she should be encouraged. She's not being encouraged. On that note, I'll be back Thank with you. a final thought in Thank just a moment. Stay with us. For your free
to take this opportunity to uh, thank you for being with us. Um, this is an awfully painful subject, uh, particularly for all of you. Um, and and I, I wish you luck. We have had Samantha, we've had your family on several times now, and we have grown interested in how you're coming along. And our prayers go out to you. And there is some love there. If you can find it, I think it may work. So good luck to you. You know, <laughs> none of us have any trouble parenting somebody else's kid. She should have done it this way, we counsel in hindsight from a distance. And it does seem that Samantha wasn't blessed with the most stable of homes in her childhood. A dad abandons her at five, a mother kicks her out at 12, drugs and alcohol are part of the scene, a not so healthy competition with her sister. And we wonder if she were our child, wouldn't we have handled it better? Perhaps, but unless we're actually there walking in mom's shoes, how can we know for sure? Whatever, Samantha's home life has been tough and her friends, however well-intentioned, significantly older and hopefully more mature, have not been particularly helpful with their influence of drugs and alcohol. And in that combined environment of family and friends, is it any wonder that this troubled teen is in such confusion and pain? No. But neither at the age of 16 anymore can Samantha journey through life saying it's not my fault everyone around me screwed up because in the end only she will determine what her life will be like. She knows the difference between right and wrong. She knows what happens when people don't take responsibility. In the end it's her choice. She can take charge and say I will not let my life be wasted. Or she can simply give up, travel down the road of personal destruction and not care. There's real potential inside this kid, but if she doesn't care, she must know that no one else will either. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom, you have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.